Good evening. Just a short video as uh, we predicted here. Another racist article on Wikipedia. It's uh, every page on there is something uh, negative, something bad happened to an African American. Um, yeah. So basically, on the uh, <clears throat> Harry Reid International Airport, formerly known as Las Vegas Airport. Uh, two things here, and we'll give both counterpoints. Um, basically, these people believe that. Um, African Americans are treated more poorly than another race. And the other thing is what they think they're going to do is, in this case, rename the airport, which we'll get to, does absolutely nothing to help African Americans because you can't do that in the first place. So, um, regarding the, um, belief that African Americans are treated, uh, inappropriately i mean well let's just look we have the george floyd here on this let's address this so they say hey, uh, say on here on wikipedia after previous attempts failed to pass to rename the airport there was renewed momentum to rename the airport after the murder of george floyd okay well the, the uh, i believe the police officer was convicted in that case but you have um you have the philip adams case who was an african-american who shot two caucasian uh children um there would be any reason to shoot at children, regardless. Um, that that's at the minimum, at, at least, as inappropriate as the murder of George Floyd. And you can say, okay, George Floyd wasn't a minor, you know, maybe he was a drug dealer, he had some minor offense. But at the same time, uh, you know, you have Philip Adams murdering these two white children. So, you know, you can say, okay, they're the same, and I'll, I'll buy that. But you, when you keep putting these on these page page after page after page, George Floyd, and then you, on, I think on the Philip, Philip Adams page, they have him as um, brain damaged. Um, okay, you probably, he was probably brain damaged when he was born. But you can't, like we said previously, you can't murder children. Um, so it doesn't matter if he was brain damaged or if he had one arm or... If you support a Hitler, it doesn't matter. There's no excuse to murder children. So that's the problem there. Is you have, um, you're addressing, you know, let's say one thing, do another out of the Democrats. They say, okay, we're going to address these race issues. And then they keep on only addressing it when an African American is the victim. That itself is racist, to only defend somebody when the victim is a certain color. That's racist. And you can say, okay, well, Hitler and all these other people are racist. That's two. They're both mutually exclusive. And for some reason, the Democrats don't understand that. And it's, you don't even have to think about it to, to understand that. You know, so that's the problem there. You know, and the Democrats think that every... Um, Bad stuff, all, all African Americans are affected by race, and none of the whites are, and that's 100% not true. You know, there's, uh, I don't know if it's some or most people, but all pe people of all races are affected. You know, we had the Holocaust, which you hardly ever hear about compared to uh, slavery and the civil rights movement, which is inappropriate and does nothing. That's what we're going to get to, regardless of where you, if you believe me on this, uh, the result's nothing. Uh, renaming the airport does nothing. And that's the second point we're addressing is renaming the airport does nothing to help African Americans. Doing this or that's going to do nothing to help African Americans. African Americans need to help themselves. Uh, higher mass scores, lower teen pregnancy rates, working, investing, we've addressed that. And so that rests on them to do that. Um, I could care one way or the other. Asians are ahead of me and I could care one way or the other. So, um, yeah, you can't can't do wealth transfers, and that's kind of a popular thing with Democrats, but we'll stick to the race issues tonight. So, um, <clears throat> Just kind of recap here, two points. Um, it's not just Wikipedia, but you see it on NBC News. You know, I watch it for five minutes, so they have a daily article. Uh, tonight, they had on there the, the Denver shooter was at least partially African American, and they didn't address his race. They didn't address the people that he shot, probably because they were white. Um, it's a gun control issue for the Democrats. 
And it shouldn't matter. The race of the shooter and the victim should not matter. But it does to the Democrats, which is 180 degree from their let's stop racism chance. Well, if you stop racism, then you cannot selectively or cherry pick these cases based on who, what race is going after what race. So if you're going to go after this uh, Caucasian police officer who murdered George Floyd, who was an African-American, you have to do the same thing in the Philip Adams case. You have to do the same thing in the Jussie Smollett case. You have to do the same thing in the Henry Ruggs case, which was buried. And I was that in Vegas, I want to say? We'll talk about irony. That, that was a D3 right there that I just pulled out. That was behind Durant with my eyes closed hitting D3s there. So they just got bent over the Democrats on that one. Um, that was a good one. But you have, you have in recap, uh, Democrats only addressing the issue if the African-American is the victim, which is racist. And the second part, what they do about it does nothing. And they are going to do nothing. Um, renaming the airport does absolutely nothing to help African Americans. We don't need to explain that one. So that's where you are. Um, unfortunately, we have to keep addressing this. And we'll keep addressing it. I'm like the Energizer buddy. I can keep addressing this and addressing this and addressing this. Um, from my standpoint... Um, you can't do that stuff. You can't. Um, I mean, the people that treat one race more inappropriately, and a lot of those, I've been treated inappropriately by African Americans, and they did not get away with it. And if it's a white person, they didn't get away with it either. I don't treat them differently based on their race. I treat them based on their behavior. So uh, there you go. Um, and I certainly wouldn't change that. I'm not going to change these people. Uh, I don't want to change these people. Um, yeah. And, you know, from a personal standpoint, you know, you know, I'm one of the top mathematicians on the planet, and there's nothing they're going to do about that. Can't transfer that to my children if I want to. So, there you go. Um, you're not getting that one. So, pretty cool there. Really cool. You know, nothing that they do... You know, we could have, you know, 50 years from now, because this stuff changes over time. You know, you could have Republicans, um, you know, acting like the Democrats on these issues. In fact, they haven't, they haven't done anything, which is not good in my view. Um, although doing nothing is better than doing more harm than good. So, whereas I give the Democrats an F on race issues, I could give the Republicans a C. But, um, you know, they could flip, you know. Trump was, used to be a Democrat. Uh, I think Reagan used to be a Democrat. So, um, and this McCarran guy that they renamed the airport after, he was a Democrat. So another Democrat loser there. Um, so there you go. So, well, you're not going to change. Uh, we've already addressed that. And, uh, which is nothing. So I didn't have to make this video because it's not going to change anything. Uh, they're not getting my mathematical abilities, which is what they need. And that's what they're not going to get.